electric current has both a magnitude and a direction, right? And you might know things that have both magnitude and directions are vectors. So the question we wanna try and answer is, is electric current a vector quantity? Now, you might be wondering why am I even asking this question? If it has a direction, it should be a vector, end of story, right? But here's the problem. See, all vectors are supposed to obey this thing called the vector addition law. Here's what I mean. Say this dude is pulling on this block with a force of three newtons and another person is pulling with a force of four newtons. Now if I ask you, what is the total force acting on this block, what's your answer? Will it be seven? No, that's not how you add up vectors. To add up vectors, you have to follow vector addition. One of the ways to do that is to take these two forces as part of two sides of a triangle and then the third side represents their sum. And so in this example, it would be five. So what you can see is that the resultant depends on the direction of these two forces. Of course, that's why they're called vectors, because direction matters. On the other hand, if you were to consider distances, let's say this dude travels three meters to the right and then travels four meters down, and now I ask you, what's the total distance traveled? That's just three plus four, seven meters. Distance does not depend on the direction. Distance is a scalar. So what about currents? Do they obey scalar or vector addition? Well, let's take an example. If you have this setup, and let's say there is three amps of current flowing in from this direction and there's four amps coming in from this direction, what would be the total current flowing out over here? Well, the answer is, let's see. What is current? Current is how many coulombs or the amount of coulombs flowing per second, right? So that means over here, there are three coulombs entering per second and over here there are four coulombs entering per second. And we know coulombs cannot be created nor destroyed. That's a fundamental property of charges. That means if three and four enter, total seven has to exit. And therefore seven coulombs must be exiting per second. In other words, it does not obey vector addition. Currents obey scalar addition, simple arithmetic. And that's the problem with treating it as a vector. So current must be a scalar quantity, end of story, right? Well, what about their direction? They do have a direction. Scalars are not supposed to have a direction. What to do about them? Maybe currents are special scalar quantities that also have direction. And in fact, some people think that, hey, you know, because current is so special, it's, it's neither a scalar, it's not, not a vector, maybe it's a tensor. And this actually confused me even more because then I'm like, okay, what the heck is a tensor now? And I read up a lot and I haven't completely, my, I haven't completely wrapped up my mind around it, but that statement is just absurd. Let me tell you why. Here, here's my analogy. Imagine I asked you, hey, is this an elephant or a zebra? And you came along and said, hey, it's neither an elephant nor a zebra, it's an animal. <laughs> Does that make sense? No. It's absurd because you would say, hey, all elephants, all zebras, and other things all classified together as animals, right? In a similar manner, it turns out all scalars, all vectors, and other things are all grouped together under this broad category called tensors. And again, like I said, I'm not an expert, but one of the ways to think about this is because scalars have no direction, they have zero direction, they're classified as rank zero tensors. And since vectors have one direction, they are rank one tensors. And it turns out there are things that can have more than one direction. I know it's really hard to wrap your head around that. One example is stress. It turns out to fully represent stress, you need two directions. They then become rank two tensors and so on and so forth. Now, this video is not about tensors, and like I said, I'm not an expert on that. So we're not gonna talk more about it, but hopefully this will help you understand why it's absurd to say that something is neither a scalar nor a vector, but it's a tensor. That doesn't make any sense, right? So from what we've seen so far, current has to be just a plain old regular scalar quantity. But again, the problem is it has a direction. Or does it? Current is a measure of how many charges are flowing per second. And the answer to this question is a count. <laughs> and count does not have a direction. And therefore current 
shouldn't be having any direction. But then you may ask, well, what about the directions that we put in our circuits? We talk about direction of the current, what is that? Well, if you think about it, that direction is not of the current, but it's of the velocity vector of the charges. So when I say the current over here is three amps to the right, what I really mean is that the current here is three amps, done, that's it, it doesn't have a direction. But along with that, I'm also saying the charges have a velocity vector of right. The charges are flowing to the right. That's an additional information I'm giving, but that right is a different, it's a direction of a different quantity, the velocity of the charges. It's, it's kind of like saying, hey, this man is traveling 10 meters distance to the right. Now, in this case, in this statement, the 10 meter distance is one quantity, it's a scalar. The right is not the direction of the distance. Distance does not have a direction. It's an additional uh, information that I'm giving you that the man also had a velocity vector, which is to the right. And so just to keep it simple, we say, hey, current is three amps to the right, but that right is not the direction of the current. But you might say, wait a second, Mahesh, not so fast. Current must be having direction because when you're adding them up, direction matters. In this example, what if instead of the four amperes flowing upwards, the four ampere was flowing down? Now, the current in this, the total current over here changes. It's no longer seven. It's now one ampere to the left. So clearly while adding up currents, direction matters. So current must be having a direction, right? Huh, that's a good point. But if you think a little bit more about it, is it really the direction that matters? I mean, if I were to orient, if I were to change the orientation of these wires, my answer does not change. So clearly the direction in three dimension, that's not what matters. You know what really matters? All that matters is whether these charges are entering into this point or they're exiting the point. That's what matters. I mean, think about it. Even if I hadn't drawn these arrow marks or I've shown you the wire, but I had just told you that there are three coulombs entering over here per second and four coulombs exiting per second, then just from charge conservation, we could say, hey, one coulomb must be entering this node, this point per second, right? So the total current does not depend on the direction, but it does depend upon whether the charges are entering or exiting. And that is not a direction in the vector sense, that is a sign of the current. So currents do have signs. And these arrow marks, well, for currents, they only represent the sign, not the direction. And scalars can have signs. Temperature has a sign. Mass can have a sign as well. We don't think about negative masses, but theoretically negative masses can exist. Scalars can have signs. Current has signs. Current is a scalar quantity. So long story short, because current is a measure of how many coulombs are flowing per second, it's a measure of a count. It is a scalar quantity. The arrow marks that you put, that is the direction of the velocity vector not of the current. For current, all that they represent is the sign, whether it's entering a node, you can call that as a positive, or it's exiting the node. Scalars can have signs. Current is a scalar quantity, it has signs, it does not have a direction, definitely doesn't make sense to say it's a tensor quantity. <laughs>